it's not greed that drives the world, but envy. Now that's a quote from Warren Buffett. Envy, also known as jealousy, is a topic that's not really discussed in a lot of psychology books, as Charlie pointed out. He has three textbooks, and not one of them goes into detail about the effects of envy on people. But before we discuss that, let's try to figure out where this emotion came from. As we know, it's in our blueprint, it's in our DNA. Envy is an emotion that we have been given in order to cultivate us to action. Think of back in primal days, if there was scarcity, lack of food amongst a tribe. Imagine seeing another man with food. Of course, the feeling will be very beneficial here. You will feel envious, you feel jealous. The reason we feel is so that we can change our situations. If we feel this uncomfortable emotion, we have an incentive to change our circumstances. We don't want to feel envious, so we're going to get what the other guy has. Now, how you go about this might be different, but the end outcome is we will get what we have, and ultimately, this is good for survival. Now, in the modern day, this emotion has been viewed as a negative emotion, but we have to understand that there is no negative or positive emotion. Everything is neutral. The negatives and positives are just labels that have been created by man. They do not describe the nature of the emotion. It's how you use it that actually ultimately determines whether it has been beneficial or counterproductive in your growth. You can use envy to grow. Imagine if you see someone with something you want. Perhaps it's a new car. Perhaps it's a new house. Perhaps it's a leadership position or something. Whatever it is. Whatever you want. This feeling, you can use it to push you forward. Use it as motivation to get that which you are envious of. If you didn't have the feeling you will not have the incentive to do what was necessary. See, you could tell that this is a very primal emotion because it's seen in children all across the world in sibling rivalry. Any of you guys that have had brother or sister would be aware of sibling rivalry. There is sort of a competition between children against each other, always win the favor of the parents whether it be in education or in sport they're always trying to compete with each other this is very healthy some might label it negative but we already talked about labels ultimately both the children are better off with this rivalry because it allows them to take their skills to places they've never been before or to reach new heights so think of that next time you're envious use it to push you forward and not to stand in front of you peace all right guys if you haven't already make sure you check out the new personal development global group on facebook link is in the description heaps of good shit for you this is pretty much the go-to place for all your personal development articles um, free content for everybody and just a whole community that we're building up. There's no spam here. Also, you could check out the link to my website, The Realized Man, right at this website. And you can suss that out. If you have something to post, make sure you check it out and come on. Anyway, have fun, guys. Peace.